I accidentally quit drinking alcohol, lost five pounds, and have more energy for work than ever. And I'm convinced it's because of one thing. Can you change your life in 90 days? Can you put yourself and your family on a new trajectory, one with more happiness and less financial stress in 90 days? Yes, I think it's possible, and I'm going to share with you what's worked for me, and maybe it will help you become unrecognizable to yourself in less than 90 days. The best part about this is it doesn't require you to actively change all aspects of your life all at once. It just requires one daily habit. This one habit will help you perform every day, rain or shine. It will act as a catalyst for every other change that you desire. It will be your north star, your anchor for which everything else will respond to. If you really want to lose that weight or stop drinking, make more money, whatever it is that you have listed on your goals, then you need to start with just one daily habit. I call this the anchor habit. I didn't invent this, but when I think about how it's changed my life, it feels like an anchor in my daily life. Just like an anchor helps a boat stay still at stormy seas, this daily anchor habit will act as a transformation catalyst for all the other goals you've got. You know those goals that you write down and never accomplish. I'm not making fun of you because I am you. I too write down my goals every year and rarely accomplish them. I get it. It's almost like you just keep writing them down because people say if you write them down, you'll achieve them. It's never worked for me. What has worked for me is committing to one thing that I'll do daily. And this has had a trickle down effect of achieving other goals, almost like second nature. So what is my daily anchor habit and why do I think it will help you change your life in the next 90 days? So what's the one daily habit that's changed everything for me and I think can help you as well? It's walking. Now walking, I'm sure you've done before and you've come back and you felt really good. You had more ideas, you were less stressed. And it was just something you wanted to maybe try it again and and be more consistent with. But you never really did it every day, no matter what. And I think that's really where the power of this comes from. I want to explain where I'm coming from, what's happened to me, because I think it's really profound what's, what's happened almost by accident. See, in the last 30 days, I've been walking every day for about three miles a day with my dog, rain or shine mainly shine. It's been really hot, about 95 degrees uh, during the summer here in Colorado, but uh, every day. And one thing that's uh, happened, I've lost about five pounds, which is great. Uh, I've got more energy uh, to do business and to to have uh, for work uh, and being around my family, being a little bit more present, which is great. But one of the things that's happened, which has been nuts, I've lost all desire for alcohol. Now, this wasn't the case just even a month ago. And I want to go back in time, and I'm sure a lot of parents out there that might be watching this that have younger kids in school, especially during the last four or five years after the pandemic, can relate. Back in 2019, I moved from Colorado to Southern California with my family about six months prior to the pandemic. Once the pandemic hit, we were the girls were in school at home on Zoom, which was nuts. A lot of uncertainty, a lot of stress, and luckily the liquor stores were still open. So we started drinking more. Not not having a problem, I would say, but it was an easy out. It was an outlet for stress. And that turned into gaining some weight. Just being more consistently having a drink a day versus doing more (laughs) active, positive things like walking. So years later, five years of living in California, we moved back to Colorado just last month. And I had been walking in in California, uh, but not every day, not consistent. Uh, Definitely had gained about 25 pounds. Um, Just didn't feel great. Um, And always, my first outlet was always a drink. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. I don't feel like I had a problem with it, but it was, it was an easy out. Now, when we moved back to Colorado, I was like, oh, it's a new neighborhood. I'm just going to start going for a walk. So we started going down these paths, going down different ways, trying out new things, meeting the neighbors, uh, try to go a different way almost every day, turned into going about three miles a day, 
felt great. I mean, I was, it was exhausting. It was 95 degrees out some days and my dog and I, she's a little Pomsky Pomeranian Husky mix. Um, let's see if I can throw a picture up here. She's ridiculously cute. Um, and, but she's, <laughs> she's not a, a stamina girl. She, she's been doing okay, but we went for a walk every day. I uh, just started going for a walk and, um, it's like, oh, this is this is good. I feel good. My legs are getting stronger. And and then all of a sudden I started realizing like I had no cravings for a drink. I mean, I was literally like, this is weird. Like I don't even there's not, you know, there, there's that craving you get for oh, it would be nice just to have a cold beer or a a drink. And never had that. It was amazing. And I was like, huh. What if I can stack these other things that I've been wanting to do, which one of them was to drink less or not at all. What if I can take the other goals that I've got and stack it on top of what's already been working, which is this walking thing. And so I think that's really what this comes down to is I think walking is the ultimate because not only it, it, it's been proven to scientifically, you know, increase your, your brain activity, which helps with creativity. Um, it's obviously healthy for you. It gets your blood pressure down and your stress lower. Um, but what I think it, it does is it creates this foundational layer for achieving these other goals that you've got in life. And whether that's, you know, to be more present at home. Uh, whether that's to have more energy to go work out, go to the gym and actually lift weights and, and do more strenuous activity a couple times a week, maybe. I think walking is really that base layer. And for me, I, I read this uh, quote from Tim Kennedy. He's a uh, ex-Special Forces um, a military guy, uh, used to be uh, MMA fighter. Just He has a lot of... Uh, great content. Uh, one of the things he said was do something hard every day. And I was like, huh, for me, I was like walking. I was like, okay. So when I'm on my walk, I'm like, it's not hard to walk for some people, you know, barring limitations physically, but it's not hard, but I, how can I make this a little harder every day? So I would choose to go up Hills. I would go a little bit longer I would, um, you know, go out of my way to find a way to make it a little bit harder every day. So do something hard every day. And hard could be physically, it could be mentally uh, difficult. Maybe it's finding solutions to problems at work. But I think that really stuck with me. And so going on these walks really has not only made me healthier. I'm going to continue doing it. Uh, it's going to be leading into the winter time here in Colorado, which coming from Southern California, oh, we're going to see how this goes, but I'm committing to keeping this up. And it's not even like, it's not even an issue. It's, it's, I just grab the leash for my dog and I, and we go for a walk. And generally it's about three miles every day. And if I can continue this through the winter time and through the, the bad weather, that's going to be a form of doing something hard. Uh, and that's going to help progress these other goals that I've got as well. So what I'm telling you is find this thing. And if it's walking, great. Uh, walking, I think, is a great place to start. For most people, it's it's a simple thing to do. do. So what are some of the tools that I used? Uh, what really helped me uh, maintain this activity? Number one is the shoes. I have my shoes. They are a little green and dirty. Let's see, let's see that. This is the game changer. These are on um, O N. What are they? Stratus Cloud Stratus, I think. Um, I've had a bunch of other shoes in the past, uh, from running shoes to uh, gym shoes to um, Allbirds and all all these different different shoes, and always had a problem like my feet would get swollen. I don't have great blood pressure um, or blood circulation on my feet. Uh, so having solid set of shoes that 
just will last. These things are amazing. I'll leave the description uh, or link in the description for these. But if you're somebody who struggles with, um, even my wife, um, she's a nurse. She swears by these things. Um, so having good shoes, that's number one. Having something to track, uh, whether it's your phone or uh, Apple Watch, like I wear. I have my Apple Watch and I have my uh, AirPods so I can listen to podcasts, uh, podcasts or ebooks or um, books on books on tape. <laughs> that's how old I am. Uh, so just having comfortable shoes, comfortable attire, something that uh, you know is breathable, especially in the weather. And then just do it. Just start doing it. And it doesn't have to be long. Don't don't come out of the gates saying, I'm going to do three miles every day or five miles every day for 90 days. Literally just start. And that's what happened to me with drinking. I just noticed after about, about a week and a half or two weeks, I was like, I don't even, no cravings. And... I think we can then stack on these other goals. So for me, whether it's creating videos or building out these websites that I've got going for affiliate marketing and for some other businesses that I'm doing, it's stacking on those goals on top of this base foundation, which for me is walking. So I hope you've got some value out of this. If you have, hit the subscribe button, the like button. Uh, let me know now down in the comments, like what... What's something that, are you going to try this? Are you going to try walking? Uh, is this something that uh, is encouraging you? Uh, what I would tell you is just start. Don't overthink it. I think writing down your goals is great, but for me, I kind of just threw that out the window and I said, I'm just going to do this thing. And honestly, it's just started to allow other things to become better and for me to start hitting these goals because I've already got this thing that I'm I'm consistently doing. Oh, one other thing. You need to be honest with yourself to have integrity for yourself. You need to be honest and say, you know, I I I can't do this or here's where I'm at, here's where I want to go. Um, be willing to accept that you made mistakes in the past, whether that's you know, dr dr drinking too much or, you know, eating unhealthy or whatever it is. You need to be honest with yourself and then allow yourself to, to try something. Try something simple on a daily basis. Every day, go out for a walk. Let me know in the comments below if, if it's worked for you or if it's something that, that you've tried in the past. And I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, this video uh, I'm going to share up next. So this one's about my trip or my uh, living in California and why we moved out of California. And this is a video that uh, YouTube thinks that you would like to watch. I hope something great happens to you today and I hope to see you next time.